What is your name? My name is Amala Ranakovic. I was born in Bosnia, I used to be in Yugoslavia, I used to Yugoslavia in Sarajevo. And unfortunately, I was in the war. Uh, and uh, I was a, as a pharmacist, I was working in the hospital as my first client in a war. And uh, when I started painting, the Oregon Art Society, I enjoy that too because I think they have same similar mindset. We need like art to kind of explore, but also kind of heal. And I think art is, is amazing to help you um, to find yourself, your peace. It's always, uh, you always feel better after painting. Whatever you do, it doesn't need to be excellent, but as long as you think that you are trying, Exploring it's really good for your mental health and generally you feel much, much better. You appreciate it, you understand art even better after you know, try to do it by yourself. I think it's amazing. As a pharmacist, I know chemicals can help you, but art is definitely something that I recommend to anyone who try to see if they can achieve something. So you recommend other people do this? Absolutely. Even if you never try, you should try because it's, it's just, uh, first of all, it's free. The Oregon Art Society, it's a very beautiful building. It's a nice part of Portland, which is close to Washington Park. It's a uh, nice setup, lot of lights. Teachers are amazing. They provide you free you know, materials and they try different techniques. And you can see what people like. It's a really, really nice class. Very good. Okay. That's it. That's it. Easy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's <laughs> really good. Art is amazing. My name is Oh no, no. That. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, art is amazing. Yes. Yeah. I served from 1969 to 1973 in the U.S. Army Medical Corps. I was a physician stationed in uh, Germany during that time and uh, served there for virtually my entire time in the military. Okay, and then how did you get this started? Uh, so I was president of the Oregon Society of Artists and we were entertaining a menu of things we would like to do uh, to improve our relationship with the community. And the top of the menu was a veterans program and a veterans art program. And we flew it by some people, and the whole, of the whole menu, that was the most attractive to us, to our board, and to friends of the organization. And so uh, we proceeded with it. And uh, we also proceeded with some of the other items, but the veterans program is one that has gotten the most commitment and attachment from the member, membership and from the community. Very cool. Are you glad you did this? Yeah. No question. No question. It was uh, fun to do in the veteran session for me and uh, all three, and we're pleased to be able to do that. How does it make you feel when you see your veterans have sometimes art pieces? How does it make you personally feel? It's uh, very gratifying. And uh, I've been with I, I don't go to every uh, week, but I've been to a number of them. And the veterans love it and uh, enjoy it. And they're pleased to have these opportunities too. And their experience is very unique and underreported. And uh, but their paintings report it and document how they felt about the experience and everything. And it's it's quite remarkable to spend time with them while they do this work. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Yep. Well. Got the microphone. I meant to be good to turn the heat. Okay. And, uh, but I just have time to do a single very detail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very nice work. Uh, do you have time to step outside? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So please tell me your name uh, and when you were in the military service. Um. Thank you. Four cars and go for that. Very good. And tell me a little bit about your painting. Um, I decided to put the cat in the boots because uh, the boots represent discipline. And nobody ever heard about discipline. 
True, true. So it's kind of the two sides of life. And how did you get involved in the Boots on the Ground art project? Uh, I go to the OSA Veterans Art class. I have been going for some time. I'm enjoying it immensely. immensely. And uh, that's how it happened. Randall came and he said, I have this idea what we should all do. Uh, so 